we are off to the um, Bradford Science Media Museum with Little One for the day. Um, all the links are obviously in the description down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like our work, give us a subscribe and come and join us as we go around the museum. Bye! Bye. We'll go down first. <laughs> Oh wow! That for an old camera. You're not gonna fit that in your pocket, are you? Daddy, can you imagine trying to use that? <laughs> Why would you have to carry that? Yes. That would, that would be a ton. Yeah, not like these ones, hey, that you can just shove in your pocket. God, the first ever negative. <laughs> yes, they're called props. Yeah, back when professional photography so was very look, expensive. Look how small they're getting compared to the other one you just saw. Compared to Daddy's. Catherine, Catherine, can you see in the dark room? The first colour moving images, 1895. Yeah, probably 20mm film. Hmm? Beautiful, huh? How well made that is. And then they started bringing them out for everybody. Yes, but look at how they became smaller and smaller. Well, as technology got better, also got big, small, small, and a little bit bigger. Smaller. As technology got better, at World War One, how the cameras got so small just in time for World War, hey? Oh yeah. Well, that's a nice background. There's nothing like a World War to push technology and development along. Why is it all of a sudden the money's spent on things like World War? Why is it like there's a chair in the camera on the chair? Oh, hold the lens. I think all the dark room, Captain. It's dark. Dealers in photographic materials and chemicals. Around here, and see. Oh, I wonder how many cameras are on here and if ours is in here. Give us a shout out on YouTube if your camera's in these stands. No, it's not. A Tenebeck is a Pentax K1000 in here, and a Tenebeck is a, a, a Nikon FM. One of the most iconic cameras ever, the Canon um, e AE1. I've already got it, they still use it on YouTube today. Oh, I've got the model before it. Well, a couple of models before it, the yeah. FM. They're doing an advert to say, go on holiday, but when you go on holiday, don't forget to take your camera. Well, look how small cameras are getting. <laughs> that photo sniper is quite funny. <laughs> it's not really inconspicuous, is it? You know? <laughs> no. Daddy, I don't know what to do. Canon F1. 
the first ever Polaroid. Proper cameras that were built to last. And a Nikon F3, but they don't have the F2. Hmm? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a thing that Ilford's still going today. Oh, Ilford, yeah. Um, HP5, isn't it? Catherine, you won't remember cartridges. Because of COVID, you've got to go one way. Remember the cartridge ones? They look like an old telephone. Do you remember them? No. There you go. By clicking the upload to wherever your photo will go online where it's accessible to millions. Oh, this is a lens and a half, Daddy. That is somebody having a portrait taken. Daddy, have you checked out this lens? I know, yeah. <laughs> Someone having a photograph taken. That's the same photograph. Yeah. Why is the same picture of that? It's showing you to the scene. Somebody took a picture of that. Oh, yeah. And what do you have to get? All the camera clubs. Oh, no, it's not me. It doesn't help though when they give you a map without the city. Tango. I remember you've been tango. We're over here. Yeah. Start of BBC. Why do you want to see the page? In case you want to see it again. Do you remember when TVs had a time when they would not show nothing so you had to go to bed? Yeah. Have a look. 1982, 1980. Which kicked? Wait, look. This lady's about to win the first million pound ever. More television sets than children. The Wombles who live off human litter. You don't know who Gordon the Gopher is. Yes, it was in the movie. Can I see? That's a Dalek. He sits there and he goes, exterminate, exterminate. Good old Wallace and Gromit. Don't know the place called Toys. But I do know Zippy and George. No, oh, no, they are way past your times. The left hand door. Well, if you don't know left from right, we've got problems. Big, big stool. <laughs> so where the red is, that is the very naughty people. The red is the North Pole over here. The pink is over Russia. Spin it round again. Oh, there's Africa. There we go. So we're in the pinky purple. There's South Africa where the white dot is. That's the India and China. I think that's North America and China. Yep. You see the UK? Yep. 
It's interesting that all of our CO2 levels go really right up to the northern hemisphere, to the North Pole. Yes, yeah. Well, I can give you, give you a talk if you want on oh, 10 minutes, eh? Hey? Do you you like it? No! <laughs> Don't you like that? Right, so which created the lowest sound? Which colour? Black. The black one? Red. Try that one at the other end. That's lower, isn't it? And the reason being is because there's a lot more water in there, so the sound has to travel through all that water. Yeah, come on. We're going to take a picture. Come on. Come in. There you go. Look, your trainers are going to glow. How do your trainers? Because this is UV light. Yeah, see, come on, trainers. Yeah. Yours is different than mine. Look at mine. What's that one? Normal. When you go in the dark, the shoes are good. Catherine, Catherine, look at my shoes. You can see all the dust in my jacket as well. I know my top. Catherine, see my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> You've got purple laces. Yeah, let's see if we get a picture from it. That's the interesting side of it. What? Thermal. Thermal. Go walk in front of it. It's very cool. Imagine how big it is now. Well, the internet. It's not a computer now. It's worldwide. Arpanet. Yes, that's how the internet started. It was the military wanted ways of transferring data from A to B without having to physically transport it. So the ARPANET started as the military and it's slowly expanded more and more. So the, the, the www dot is not the internet. It's a service that sits on the internet. Look, look, it was released nearly every month. Yeah. Right, with all these computers. Look at how they've got small and yeah, look at these. These are the first laptops. Yeah, oh. Yeah. First mobile phones. I remember the BlackBerry ring. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think that. The Dreamcast came out. That looks like that outside. Smartphones came out. The explosion of the PDAs. Yeah. No, no, okay, 3310, though. Mmm. Tablets. Yeah. Oh, the Kindle, there you go. Yep, Grandma's Kindle. Thank you for joining us for our wonderful trip around Bradford Media Museum. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!